Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Is this the number one gold play of the year? And I'm not talking about necessarily buying gold and a way to accumulate gold, but possibly, you know, investing in a mining company. Well, or, and when it comes to gold, what this potential supply of gold could increase that could dilute the gold supply and the price have an effect on our price. So let's take a look at this from Yahoo Finance. This comes to us from AUGCH. Appreciate you sending this along to me. So let's take a look at this and see what it's all about. So what's it like to strike rich, it asks. It's probably like finding gold in the middle of nowhere. And that's unusual these days, no matter what part of the world you're at. But this happens to be in West Africa, and I guess if it's going to happen, it's going to be in a West African country, in Mali, where miners uncovered a nugget weighing one kilogram worth $45,400. Then it happened again, weighing another second nugget, weighing 2.7 kilos, worth 122500 Here we can see some pictures of these. And uh, let's see, it doesn't allow me to, to enlarge these, unfortunately. But what's still underground could change everything as we know about the gold market. It all happened at the Kobata mine in southern Mali, or Mali, owned and operated by African Gold Group. It's a project that sits amidst one of the biggest mineral belts on earth in a part of West Africa that has become the capital of the global gold industry. It's a place where mining firms are spending hundreds of millions on new acquisitions. And AGG hopes to use Kobata to strike it rich in the next gold boom. The company has everything going for it. A project that is planned to come online soon with a total resource base of 2.2 million ounces of gold worth billions of dollars. A management team of dedicated professionals led by a titan of the mining world who has turned tiny firms into multi-million dollar powerhouses. At this time, all this at a time when gold prices look sure to hold steady and maybe even increase. So there's every reason to bet that this tiny $12 million firm could realize a huge valuation or even potentially get gobbled up, delivering a massive upside to investors who get in on the ground floor. It all happened for AGG. It's all happening. Here's the five reasons that one should possibly get excited. The Kabata fine, a $140 million per year gold mine in West Africa. It's, uh, it's in southern Mali, which is important to note. While northern Mali has some trouble, southern Mali is stable, safe, and extremely favorable to extractive uh, operations. In fact, Mali is Africa's third largest gold producer. And the southern belt near the borders of with Cote d'Ivoire and Guinea is an ideal spot to set up shop. The belt stretches over 4 kilometers with a larger 12 kilometer strike length and is entirely owned by AGG. Studies have suggested that a total resource base of 2.2 million ounces, the company believes it can hit 50,000 ounces a year and build upwards to 100,000 ounces a year in a short time frame, judging by initial technical and economic studies. At current prices, that would be about $140 million in gross revenue a year for a $12 million firm. And the company estimates the resource where these gold nuggets were just unearthed at 2.2 million ounces, and there could be even more depending on what new test may reveal. And that's the key, is testing the ground to see what is there. Mineralization is evident at shallow depths, which means miners won't have to sink big pits or blast away too much rock to get the ore deposits. That means lower cost and less time to market. Here we can see the African Gold uh, Group, uh, Kaboto Gold Project, 2.2 mineral ounces of mineral resources. Let's see if we can take a look at some of these photos. Uh, these photos here do not really enlarge it any more than what's on the picture here, so we don't need to do that. It used to be South Africa that got all the mining attention, but increasingly investors are shifting their focus west, where the geology is just being discovered. And keep in mind that South Africa has the deepest gold mine in the world. 
In Mali alone, there are at least 20 different mining companies setting up shop, and the regulatory environment couldn't be more ideal. The Malian government has embraced mining, Mali's biggest GDP contributor, and has streamlined the, the permit process. While in North America, permitting can take as long as five to seven years, and Mali companies can have permits in hand in a matter of months. Certainly, they do skirt a lot of environmental regulations for sure. For Kabata, licenses acquired from the Malian government expire in 2045 and cover an area of 135.7 square kilometers. So what sets it apart is a 50, let's see here, 50 ounce feasibility study ready to be optimized and upgraded to 100,000 um, ounces. And keep in mind that I did a video about the super pit mine and they mine 700,000 ounces out of that one mine, one pit per year. So uh, shallow mineralization, we talked about that, and uh, large untested shear zone hosts significant resource growth potential. That's a potential there, but may may not be. Um, the area around AGG's operation of Kabata is turning into a gold mining hotspot. 61 new assets are in production of, or construction stages, with 24 assets undergoing economic assessment, and a colossal 367 assets in exploration. In fact, West Africa seems poised to become a new center for global gold mining thanks to vast untapped deposits, low costs, and increasingly favorable regulatory environments. In Guinea, Mali, and Burkini Faso already produced twice as much gold as South Africa, and things may only get better from here. But keep in mind, there's only a potential, and uh, so investors should be cautious for sure. In exploring that but the thing is 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 there enough gold there to really um, um, affect the supply of gold and, and prices and especially considering that there is a lot of acquisition of gold from these central bankers around the world even though it's slowing they're still getting a whole lot of it Kabata is part of a massive belt running in the huge swaths of West Africa mining here has been particularly lucrative with Resolute and Barrick hitting it big so there's, there it is. It's called the Biraminium Belt, and it's paid out big time for companies who have gotten in on the action. Take the Marilia Mine in southern Mali, just east of Kabata. Operation by gold giant Barrick. The mine has been in operation since 2000. Or what about Tongan in Cortever, also run by Barrick, where 230,000 ounces was dug up, worth $322 million. Or consider the Sayama uh the Siyama mine in Mali, operated by Resolute, which estimates it will produce 300,000 ounces of gold per year. At current price, that's 420 million. And here we see, let's see if we can get a little closer. This doesn't. Uh, this gives us a different one. The uh, post premium cover. The it's not a very good photo here. Uh, premium greenstone belts and the Polo Tozaic Garante rocks. So there you go. You can see their Ivory Coast. There's a lot of it there. There's a Kubota mine there in southern Mali, right next on right on the border of Guinea there. Very interesting indeed. Kabata sits squarely in the belt of mines that have paid out to investors. Better yet, West Africa is only growing into a new global gold hub, which means things will hopefully get better from here. Just this year, Ghana outpaced South Africa as Africa's biggest gold producer. That's interesting. Mali isn't too far behind. So you can see the discovery of the gold nuggets could be the tip of the iceberg of Kabata, especially since there are actual nuggets found. A 2.7 nugget in 2008, the discoveries indicates potential in the find, and it's bigger than it could imagine. But it's a potential for bigness, and uh, we'll see here. With China's gold buying spree ramping up and increasing, International trade tensions, industries, experts expect the prices to go up to $2,000. Um, so we'll see if the, if, the, if the production of this can keep pace with the demand, the prices may not stem up to that much. Uh, but we'll see if there's an increase in this production here. And, uh, and it talks about the management team. This does seem like, the, in, a, in a sense, like a sales pitch for a... Uh, um, investment in these mines 
But I'd say be very careful there, but it might be an opportunity for those of you who are so inclined. But I would keep up, you have to really intimately understand what's going on and read behind the pitch for, for, before I would invest in these companies, uh, which is why I typically stay with the hard asset itself. But the bigger question is here, how much gold could be discovered uh, that will be into the marketplace if this potential is there? And uh, so we'll see. I think that is kind of a bigger thing. But it could be a big play if you're up for investing into a company. It could be the number one gold play of the year. But it could also mean that if there's enough gold that comes out of these things, that it could dilute the price um, uh, depending on demand. I don't know if depending on how much gold is produced per year around the world, if this would make that much of a difference. And it all depends on the demand, not only on the, quote, investor side, I don't like to use that term when it comes to gold, but also on the, um, on the demand side for um, utilization of gold in industry, technology, the biomedical field, and all that, which is um, a minimal part of it, but your bigger... Demand is going to come from places like India, China, and especially India with regards to um, gold being used for weddings and dowries and the like. So there you have it. Very interesting indeed. I mean, right now we've got gold uh, sitting in just under $1,500 now. Uh, so it's creeping out just below. It's losing a little bit of, of its steam there. And uh, silver is back a little bit, but still above that $17 an ounce level. And so we'll see. And speaking of silver, what about this mine? Will uh, silver be a byproduct uh, uh, of this mining? We shall see. Post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. And encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.